Well, I think like everything, there's an ebb and flow and a, a change. And, you know, at one point, these dams were super important. They were the way the factories ran, and that was commerce and the way that Rhode Island could thrive. And it, Rhode Island did thrive for many years, but then things have changed, and we need to change with it. Through our science, we learned there was a problem. About 85% of river herring are not getting upstream. Flood abatement is a major portion of this whole project. What happened in 2010 is you had substantial flooding put tremendous stress on the dam, and there's a risk of a complete dam failure, which would flood the homes and businesses downstream. The only way to deal with the problem was to remove the dam. First is getting the water control structures up, they're called coffer dams, and those in the pictures are those blue tarps and the ribs of metal ribs, and they, they hold the water back. Then you can pump the water out. Once you have the water pumped out, the first step was to remove all the cement, get that out. Six feet by, I think, 113 feet, and solid cement with rebar and all that. Keeping the river out of this whole area during the time, I mean, we had like a quarter of a mile of the river basically dry, and we were working in it. The next step was to start sculpting the sides, re-sculpting 1,200 feet of the riverbed, and basically we started at the far end and then worked our way back and then we built erosion control on two sides. We removed the lower coffer dam and it started what's called backwater, which means the water started to come back in. We kept on schedule, but it was, it was quite a ride. Seeing a, a river that's dammed up and not moving, and all of a sudden it moves, is a pretty cool thing. Come spring to see the fish running up an area that they haven't been able to swim up for almost 250 years, it's gonna be spectacular. This river is always gonna run free now. It's always gonna be open. And the fact that, as you can see with the pictures through here, is at the end, you can't tell there was ever a dam there. And in three years, you'll even tell less. And in five years, there'll be a distant memory. You'll never know there was a dam there. That stood for 245 years. I think for me, Progress and hope are kind of two sides of the same coin. I, I always think of kids and the next generation and leaving things better than they were when, when I was their age. It's a marathon, it's not a sprint, and there's a lot of great work that still needs to be done.